if you want to invest your fund in stock market or in real estates or in trading then check the links in the description below in this video we will see an example on sinusoids question a current source in a linear circuit has is is equal to this is represents source current it is equal to 8 cos 500 pi t minus 25 degree ampere a we have to find what is the amplitude of the current what is the angular frequency find the frequency of the current and calculate is at t is equal to 2 millisecond solution first of all we will write what is given so here the value of source current is given now if we compare this with standard equation so standard equation is i is equal to i m cos omega t plus phi now here we can see this i m represents amplitude or maximum current it is the amplitude of current this omega represents angular frequency it is the angular frequency t is the time in second time in second and this phi represents phase angle now here we have to find the amplitude of current here we can clearly see the amplitude i m is equal to 8 so here we can write i m is equal to amplitude and it is equal to since it is current so its unit will be ampere so 8 ampere then next omega we also have to find the angular frequency so angular frequency omega is equal to angular frequency and it is equal to 500 pi so 500 pi radian per second or we can write can convert this 500 pi so it will be 15070 15070.79 radian per second so this is the angular frequency then next is we have to find the frequency of the current so frequency of the current is we know that omega is equal to 2 pi f so therefore f is equal to omega divided by 2 pi So if we solve this, so omega value is 500 pi divided by 2 pi. So this pi and this pi will get cancelled. So it will be 250 and since it is a frequency, so its unit will be hertz. So therefore f is equal to frequency and it is equal to 250 hertz. now next is we have to find is at t is equal to 2 millisecond so therefore is at t is equal to 2 millisecond will be is is equal to is is equal to 8 cos 500 pi 500 pi multiplied with 
t the value of t is here it is 2 millisecond here we can see t is equal to 2 millisecond that means 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 and to convert this into degree form we have to multiply this by 180 degree by pi then minus 25 degree minus 25 degree ampere so therefore is is equal to we can directly solve this in calculator so it will be 8 cos 500 into pi into 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 10 to the power minus 3 into 180 divided by pi then minus 25 so it is minus 7 point minus 7.25 minus 7.25 and since it is current so its unit will be ampere so this will be the value of source current when t is equal to 2 millisecond always remember that we have to multiply this by 180 degree by pi to convert this into its degree equivalent so this is how we can find the value of source current in sinusoids don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching